Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. This is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, introducing the challenger, Iron Michael Chang! And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 30 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx Oliveira! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. <laughs> as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. We 
Way to hide that leg kick. Back and forth we go! Rotates the lock and throws it way through the air. What a massive takedown. Olivera's trying for a submission here. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Oliveira. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Dig and kick. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot still standing after taking that point. Oh! And he's out. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Feet on the hips here. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Second round, straight ahead. sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Massive head kick! Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Rotate head outside. This dude's going for a while. Oh, 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 slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not me. I'm just saying. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, 
Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. Oh, tags him with the left. Setting up a sub here. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. this championship. Oh, the overhand, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, oh. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, big knee! Ooh, dive and punch lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet now. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Oliveira. They're trying to find a home for that right hand. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 53 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliveira. And landing with 63% accuracy. How about that? Against another leg like, takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately pull the bear is going for the leg. Might be a submission opportunity here. Oh, oh man, that was slick. Under two minutes now to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Whiffs on the elbow. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 15 seconds remain in the round. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up.
right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels right into his opponent and secure takedown after takedown. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. You gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Fostering up now. Nicely done. Lands with a right hand. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Oliveira. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Wow, huge head kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jump. Visibly limping here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these bodies. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single. Oh. Oh my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Look at him lift his hip into that kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Right hand punch to clinch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And there's a takedown attempt. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole inning. One strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, the thunderous legs of him lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So inside the open guard of his opponent. Gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, wow, oh! The problem 
rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're and a little bit hurt. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Right punches there. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. Going in the fight. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, big punch land. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice, but they take down the tip. Oh! Wow. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on. And tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. To the winner by unanimous decision. And still... as hard a title to hold down as there is in the UFC, but mission accomplished for the champion here tonight. Congratulations, he is still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. You know the challengers are gonna keep on coming, but this man is still the hunted, at least right now, at 155 pounds.